Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here back with more Let's Play Shining Force 3 Premium Disc Battles. We are still fighting Iom, the Shining Force CD boss. Uh, it's easier to say Shining Force CD because he's he's really weird when it comes to... That was back before the Shining series had a little more cohesion. Alright, unfortunately we have moved him into the worst possible place. And yeah, you... You do anything, I don't care. You're gonna hurt, but we're gonna hurt you, so it all works. Grace recovers MP. I need to do damage to you. So I'm gonna move Grace back and see if I can lure him back where I can at least have two people to hit him. Because we have not done nearly enough damage to this head. Alright, I'm gonna move you over there. You're gonna stay there and still do some damage. Unfortunately, I don't think he's gonna move back. At least farther back down so that two people can melee attack him. It just doesn't seem plausible at this point. Alright, we're gonna move you there. And get one more Spark 4 out with you, and you'll have a magic attack bonus from Hadova. So, damage is helpful. 84 points of damage. Alright, let's move you back here and see if the head follows. I don't think it will. I think he's just going to sit off to the side and try to beat the crap out of Symbios now. Alright, you're useless, so I'm gonna move you there. Shouldn't have moved you there, because you had a you would have given an attack bonus to Proto. Who needs it? Because we're not doing nearly as much damage as we could be. And of course, demon breath. Creepy demon breath. It's different. Proto is hurt. I'm gonna fix that. I'll be casting aura on that group. Definitely. Still get the double attack bonus. And drain arrow. Not as good as a mesmer arrow, but better than nothing. Oh no, he is gonna go back. So this is perfect. Now I can start beating the crap out of him with multiple people. I probably should have healed. But... You live, you learn. We've... We've realized... Because I'm not going to let Proton die. I'm not. It's not going to happen. And another ice attack. But I still get an, a turn with Gracia, so that's not not going to be too bad. And attack. Mirage round. Let's see if we can see his HP. There we go. Not too far behind the other group. There's this spell on Symbios War off. And guess what? I can hit you from here. Get up. And I'm going 55 damage. You seem to be slightly magic resistant. Alright, um... Can't... I mean, I can do... Spark 1. That's better than nothing, so... Again, we'll burn through MP. for 30 points of damage. Again, better than nothing. Move you back there. Um, I'm going to take this opportunity to cast heal on Proton. Because we don't want anyone to die, especially Proton. 
So there we go. Now we're gonna move you there. And we're gonna cast Aura for just to make sure everyone's good. Seems like a waste of MP, but it's not. Keeping your people alive is never a waste of MP. Since everyone's taking a little bit of damage. And it's spread out, so... See? Well worth it. And we can move Spiriel over where Khan was to keep the attack up. And you just don't like Proton. But Proton says no. Not having it. Alright, more attacks, more damage. 54 damage. And we get an attack bonus. Actually, the other group has caught up. Damage wise. Because they have gotten him down completely out of the brown health meter into the purple. But Spiriel is going to help them catch up. And retake the lead. It's a race. That's the best way to look at it. It's a race between both of those armies. Who's going to do more damage first? And poor Iom is just... His body is just kind of standing like, no one wants to come play with me. You're damn right no one wants to come play with you. No one likes you. That's why we're going to kill your tendrils first. Because no one likes grabby hands. Alright, that's the last spell I'm going to use with Hidoba. And that's, that's part of it. I've got spells on Hidoba. I'm using spells. She has a lower H or lower MP spell, so... Between that and my wonderful melee attackers here... I'm, I'm able to do a good amount of damage, and trusted. Well done, kids. Well done. We're going to throw another blaze out that way. Get up! save the rest of his MP for resistance low. Can't do anything. You can do something, and you're gonna do something. You're gonna attack. With a tornado. Ouch. That group looks like they are upset about being overtaken by Symbios' battalion damage-wise, but again, anytime I'm using Symbios, that's the side that's gonna do better, because it's Symbios. And Demon Breath, which is gonna hurt just a little bit. But... Not entirely unexpected, he hasn't done anything that dick, so it was about time for him to do it. And Prodon, come on, do some damage, man. I know you're capable of it. I yeah, you're capable of it. I'd love to see him just instantly shatter doing that. That would be awesome. And you're gonna throw out a Demon Breath, so I'm gonna need to use an Aura 4 here in a minute. Before I engage the main body. They don't have to before I engage the main body, but eh. You know, better safe than sorry. This is gonna take all the thunder out when I, you know, play Shining Force CD and realize, oh, you're nothing compared to what I fought at the premium disc. Alright, uh, what spells do I have, if anything, on here? Uh, I can attack, which... Uh... 
Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna cast attack on Julian. That way my two melee attackers can get some more damage. And in reality it only costs her 10 MP because the second she does this she's gonna recover two more MP. So as long as you have the MP to use the spell. Alright. Will this kill him? Yeah. Symbios is the first to take out his enemy, and he gets a lucky cookie. Or happy cookie. What? What? Um. Ah. Uh, well, I mean, I've got a fairy powder. I can use it on someone else. Yeah, we'll drop the fairy powder. I don't think anything has status effects anymore, so... Uh, who needs... I can make Hayward's luck. May do that. Make Hayward have a luck of nine. Luck. Grace can max out luck. Hayward can max out luck. Hadoba can max out luck. Bridget can max out luck. Hayward. Hayward it is. Alright, we're gonna get our force ready to move. And we really can't do anything with you for right now. And yay, extra damage. 61 damage. Leave you there for the friendship bonus. More attacks. 66 damage. Still gonna take a couple of hits to finish them off. Move you there. Symbios will move next to him, use the, the lucky cookie on him. And whoever... Alright. Grace, guess what? You're aura fouring it up. And everyone's back up to full. Hayward's gonna have nine luck here in a minute. Which is kinda cool actually. That's really the only item that I I was even kinda hesitant on keeping. Lucky, because they're so rare in the game, but my force's stats are so messed up that it's not really something I'm, I'm worried about keeping plausible, so. Alright, we're gonna move you over. Use the lucky cookie on Hayward. Lucky cookie, not happy cookie. Hayward now has a luck of 9, he is immune to any and all status effects. Well, most status effects. Alright, I want to finish killing the other head before I engage the main body. There's only so much I can do. I may just go ahead and start moving the force in. I can attack you from there, so I'm going to. And with a luck of 9, Hayward's probably going to be even more of a beast when it comes to special attacks. And Ion looks creepy. Yeah, I'm going to leave Spiriel and Froden over there. Because he's not quite dead. We need to move this screw. And hey, this they did it. No more Ion Tendrils, and we get a happy cookie from him. Anything worth dropping? No. So we're gonna give up on that one. I, mean, I don't think I have anyone that would have. I would have been fine with dropping an item for. No. 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 Yes. No. 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 
Uh, no. Maybe. So yeah, if that's that's all it was, all it was, yeah, not not terribly fast. All right. Symbios! First to rush in, 72 points of damage. We're gonna give him some backup. Throw out Wendigo. We're gonna be a little more MP efficient. Let's see how much damage this does versus what Freeze 4 was doing. Freeze 4 is probably always gonna do a little bit less damage. 65. No, I mean, I might as well use Freeze 4. It's 10 MP. Alright, uh... Yeah, we're gonna throw out Resist on those three since they're the first three out there. We want them to be hunky-dory with their defense abilities. Always want to make sure the first to engage are... You know, well, well defended. Median taking on Ion, even though he has nothing against Ion personally, they don't know each other. We're just gonna kill him. 93 damage. You can't argue with those results. And we're gonna cast support as well. Five people with support. Not bad. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Yeah, I, I do. I grossly underestimated how many episodes this was going to take. To pop. I could have just done. Like I said, I could have done each battle and edited it to where it's it's just you know each battle within 20 minutes. But that's that's not. That's not an experience, especially for the the awesome bosses that we're getting ready to take on. We're taking on we took on Dark Dragon, the boss from uh, Shining Force One. We're taking on Iom from Shining Force CD. I mean, I'll give you three guesses as to some of the other bad guys we're gonna get to fight. It's like it's just awesome, awesome. Uh, can't do anything there. So. Can't do anything there. Now what are you gonna do? Let's see what Ion pulls out of his little bag of tricks. This is a smaller area, so this is probably Ion Breath. Ion Beam. Ow. Okay, that's actually kind of damaging. Not happy about that. Not happy about that at all. Alright. Freeze. Freeze. I may move her out of the way because Freeze has the same range as uh, Hayward. So I might move him back. Or I might move her back so that I can move... Uh, Proton in, so the Proton can focus on slow, Murasami can focus on resist, and then everyone else can focus on beating the crap out of Ion. And who is. Someone just viewed him as trusted, which is great. I'm gonna throw another support out. That way we hit all of them. We want their defense. And agility. We want to make sure everyone's defense and agility that's in the direct line of fire gets maxed out. We're also going to cast resist again. And I'm going to focus on more precise auras. Did about 30 points of damage, so I don't see any need to use aura 4, but we want to keep that option open in case it becomes an issue. Alright, uh, first things first.
There we go. That group is going to get attacked because my heroes are going to lay at the smackdown on Ion. It's a veritable rainbow of smackdown. A friend of mine was telling me that that's a promo used for like a Thor anime. I don't know. He, he was just explaining it to me and I was just dumbfounded. Alright, that group I think was the one that got hit, so we're going to do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. Because we're at 20 minutes. Almost 21 minutes, to be accurate. But that keeps my force alive. And hey, why not? We'll just get another ha a attack in. Well, I'm, I'm addicted to attacking. Alright. Alright, yeah. I'll go ahead and end this episode here. I'll see you guys in the next installment. So till then, later everyone.